My name is Richard Dodo Manager and I've been asked here today to speak to you about the new architecture of the State Lake. So if you'd like to follow me. This is the site of the former extension of the State Lake. The new extension will look like this. And the architects were asked whether or not their design has any drawbacks. And they said the following. The building doesn't have a rear. And that's a problem because every building needs an entrance to let goods vehicles come and go without interfering with visitor traffic. We've come up with an innovative solution if you'd like to follow me uh, into this building here. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in the bakery section, and this wall here will be demolished. <laughs> this will enable the passageway to be built straight into the new basic galleries <laughs> of the stage life. And this is stage one of the new Museum Flying Master Plan. It's called the Museum Master Plan Flying. <laughs> That's the name of the master plan. If you follow me now, it's the dairy section. I'm going to show you another piece of synergy that has been made possible through this new partnership. This quark has been designed to mimic the appearance of the new like extension. It works quite well, you can see. It's quite nice. And this is part of a larger sponsorship deal between De Zanza Hova. De Zanza Hova. And the nickname of the state like extension is the bathtub. As of next year, as part of the sponsorship, it will be renamed the Quark Tub. <laughs> if you'd like to follow me, <laughs> Bentham Crowell Architects will also be renaming themselves Bentham Crowell Quark Architects. As you know, the North South Amsterdam subway line is currently under construction. One of the reasons for the construction delays is that there's been a realignment of some of the tunneling. They have constructed a new loop. From the main line, which will come to a new station, which is where we're standing, <laughs> this will be the new concourse. This will allow passengers to go straight into the supermarket and into the stable light without having to go above ground. It will also allow deliveries for the gallery and the supermarket to come via the new train system. That will reduce the amount of lorries to have to use the roads above ground. If you'd like to follow me this way. This will also be renamed Q Quark. So here we are on the museum flight. I stole this earlier. And if, it's interesting, <laughs> if you hold it at the right angle, it looks almost as if the extension has been completed. Madam, this will look like you're from the future. <laughs> Does that look accurate? This is great. This is like we're in 2012. It's a little bit hard to tell the difference. Well, maybe 2013. <laughs> Well, hopefully, hopefully 2012. <laughs> if anyone else would like to have their picture taken. This is a plan by Cornelius van Easteren in 1947 to build a motorway down the middle of Museum Klein. That was actually constructed in 1952, you can see it there. It was referred to as the Netherlands' shortest motorway. It was inspired by Stockholm. They redeveloped the line in the 90s thanks to Sven Ingmar Andersen, the Swedish landscape architect, including this line of light. It lights up at night time. So the challenge for stage three of the Museum Master Pline Plan is to try and combine the beauty of the line of light from the 90s with the functionality of the motorway. And we think we've achieved it with this line of tarmac, which will run along the same orientation as the line of light. But this isn't a motorway, this is a runway for short takeoff and landing aircraft. It's modeled on uh, London City Airport. There's a model of the model. 750 meters it would be. So airplanes would come in from the north over the historic town centre and land where we're standing. In many ways the line of light would remain lit at night time obviously the runway and also the approach lights installed across central Amsterdam would also light up 24 hours a day. The supermarket may eventually be demolished, allowing a series of jetways to be installed. This Dash 7 aircraft could get as far as Rome, Warsaw and Stockholm. Now, in 1982, to convince people that we could really land the planes in such a small place, they had a test. It was just a grassy field. So that's what we've got planned this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. A small plane should be approaching from the north. Whilst we're waiting, I've got some stickers to hand out to you. I'm going to sing you a little song. He's from Stockholm, I think. Eagle Eye Cherry. Do you know his most famous song? I've just changed one word, really. Madam, can you hold that? When you see the plane, I want you to wave. Go on. Light me for you. Can you see it? Yeah. And Lord, I wish it wasn't so. Everybody. Stay to like. 